wanted to make sure I was first. Because <laughs> I'm the loud one in the office, so you have to be first, right? Do you know sign language? Um, I know please. My nephew does please. <laughs> I, otherwise, That's no. not interesting. <laughs> why, why are you asking me if I know sign language? Because I, I turned to a page in this book and it oh. said, sorry, God, sign language. Oh, yeah, no, I really say please, my nephew. Um, mm. But that's the only one that I know. Mm. Well, I'm not finding anything interesting in this book. Mm. Nothing ever is all that interesting, really, yes. so much. Hmm. Mm. Well, did you know... It's hump day. I hate that term. It's so <laughs> gross. Oh, like, because it conjures up images of dirtiness? <laughs> Woohoo! Where are... What, what are we talking about? Uh, <laughs> Jay's excited about something. Yeah, woo we're, we're, um, we're on what? YouTube. We're featured on, on, on no, YouTube. No, not, not we. Not the Daily Vlog. Oh. But another show produced way over to that side of the room. <laughs> in the far distant corner over there. <laughs> Mac Bose is featured on, yeah, on YouTube, but I don't see the point in mentioning it. Oh, okay. Because it's cool. Well, the three people from here could go to YouTube to watch another funny home video. No. Uh, lots, of, lots of people have gotten famous on YouTube. Have, have you listened to the girl that got signed to Justin Timberlake's record label because she got famous on YouTube? Her name's Esme Denters. She's this really pretty girl from the Netherlands. She's like 18, I think. Mm -hmm. She has really long, pretty hair. Anyway, she can sing her butt off. But she got famous by just putting up videos of her singing on YouTube, like in her bedroom or whatever. Isn't that what Lily Allen did too? Yeah. Except she did it in MySpace. Yeah. So in this case, well, in this case, she's gotten, of, 15, she's gotten a lot of she's gotten a lot of media still attention. Drawing traffic like mad. Sure. Although it's fake. But in this but case, she's really singing. Post TV. Well, yeah point being is that this girl was really singing and then it led to her having a career and now she's on the European tour with him. So yeah. You know so she's huge right? in Europe. Uh, do I think that's kind of cool? Let's see. No. Marginally, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't. I'm sorry. Okay. I don't know. Uh, well, I mean, I thought it was great. I think, it, it shouldn't I have think to jump a... through all those typical hoops to like do the record deal yeah, and all that. It was like they, but... they went and saw her out. I think it's a numbers game too. I think it's not like if you focus on one person and say, "Look at how she became famous," mm -hmm. you, you, you go and you say, "Well, first of all, is that a good thing?" And second of all, you know that's a, she did it, and there were a thousand other people that also did it that didn't become famous doing it. True, true. Um, so it's kind of like you can find I don't know, you, can, you know, you can find all sorts of stuff. I mean, you throw enough people over over the Niagara Falls in a barrel, somebody's going to live, and they're going to be famous for living. <laughs> <laughs> but Do you, people you, you, die doing that? Oh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I guess that's people why. People died going over Niagara Falls in a barrel. Okay. Yes. And on and the list of so ways to die, I, mean, I think you get up to the pearly gates and they just go, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> but wouldn't you rather like die in some unique way, like in a barrel over Niagara no. Falls? Or, like, no, I wouldn't. You, you just want to die like ordinary, like in your sleep. Like, At 109 years old in my sleep. Really? Mm -hmm. Why 109? Okay, 110. <laughs> I don't know. Do you? Would you really want to live to be 100? Oh yeah. Why wouldn't I? What? what okay. Well, what, even if you're really, really with it, and you're really physically healthy, I am really with it. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you're really physically healthy. Yeah. What are you gonna do at 100? You're like I got stuff to do. You're like so decrepit. You. Can I got. Oh, I'm not. I plan on being <laughs> decrepit. You didn't mention being decrepit. <laughs> I was thinking I'm there and I'm 109. You're putting me in a box with like <laughs> oxygen tubes coming out of my face. No, I I'm really. Uh, I don't want to be that old. Well, number one, I got stuff to do. Number two, I I, I got. <laughs> you must be really busy. Off uh, right. Yeah, I got, I got things to do. Right now, as things, my desk, the inbox, at least 109. Um, and then uh, and then I've got you know people friends and family to see how they do and oh. I want to see how things go. I'm when you know I want to miss. I would hate to like die and like and like we land the first man on well at this rate Mars if, like the day after I die. Like that would suck. Mm. It would totally suck. What if you outlive like everybody that you care about? I'll care if I knew people to care about. What if they don't want to care about you though? You're all old and decrepit. Like how are you interesting to be your friend? Like. This is my 110-year-old 
decrepit friend Gary. <laughs> I know, I'm really depressed. Now I'm really old, decrepit, nobody cares about me. How did this happen? I don't even care. I want to make it till tomorrow now. <laughs> You're just going to give up right away. I'm going to give up I'll right now. I'll just buy your gun for you. Just, yeah. yeah, make it oh, quick. Well. Anyway. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Thank you.